Alright guys, well we, we are between Christmas and New Year 2020. What a shitty year it's been. If it wasn't for the Covid um, and destroying people's physical, mental and financial health we are, I reckon, about to go into another world of, of pain uh, in 2021. I think lockdowns and stuff will be worse. I think it'll go through to September. And I think that we will do stuff um, like privatise or continue to privatise the NHS. Um, that side anyway, the, I haven't been out much on the bikes and I cannot stand it anymore. So what we've got here today, we've got a freezing cold, so like zero degrees or something. Um, fat dry day and I'm just gonna head over to the hill at Alexandra Palace to have a look over London like a fat Batman um, oh, majority of the trip set for wandered into the lakes and peak district have been ruined this year but you know we can we can cross our fingers for uh go mate but next year we better and I'd live for bike trips and track days and stuff Brands GP on the uh, Super Duke was brilliant. What the fuck is going on? Brands GP on the Super Duke was amazing. But uh, uh, the Nürburgring was amazing, but there's not got enough for that shenanigans. I should um, start sitting brake pads. Otherwise, I've been fortunate um, that I've got a job. I've learned about jobs and I've got a new one. Starting in the uh, second week of Jan. Finally, off to play director somewhere. About bloody time. Uh, a bit more money if it's for this country, but more I was going to walk to my current job in March that would have been a fucking disaster suicidal idea that um, oh, should have bought my fucking clear visor um, um, yeah Christmas was fucking shit New Year's is going to be shit it just feels like um, you know, people trying their best, but I cannot be bothered with trying to force an issue or force something. When you go out, if you think, you know, in the bits that we haven't been locked down, where I've been to restaurants, it's not been the same. Um, where I've been to hotels or weekend getaways, one of them I was put into a fucking meet, you know, a conference room for supposedly like a fucking five star hotel. And I'll be having that. Um, so I'd rather not bother. thousand double R the end package got nicked uh, had 
a trekker and everything else do not bother with a trekker just make sure you get late ass my house i wish one day i uh, do not get a fucking trekker they disabled it it was 10 minutes it's still downstairs um yeah just get loads of chains and stick it up your ass so uh now he's getting um a zh2 which I think is a ridiculous idea. I mean, it'd be straight, it'd be great, straight line, you know, uh, bike horsepower figures, and um, I suppose more of a, more usable than the S1000. But it's too heavy. My mate's only little bastards. And he's just, I guess, I just told him to go for, a MT10 SP or the new Super Jeep which is uh, more for short asses. But no. Come on, come on mate, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Get out of the way. It's not bad out today. Come on mate, let's go. And all this without traction control. Ooh. <laughs> like the good old days. I don't think there'll be much wheelies though today. I think this fucking dead end spin. Come on mate. Come on blood. So put the brakes on fucking gun. God, Jesus Christ, another thing about this fucking winter and lockdown or and this tier four bullshit. It's people have fucking got worse at driving. I don't think it would be possible, but Jesus fuck. It's so shit. And having to, and spending more time on, in a car, throwing the family around, come on, rather than on the bike, fucking winds me right up. If I haven't got any underlying health issues, now I've got COVID. But now, with all, you know, with, my, with the driving raising my blood pressure, then I'll be fine. Fucking hell. Worse. Uh, yeah, people turn each other to shreds. It. Turn each other to shreds. Load the rise of the Karen. Come on, mate. Rise of the Karen. It's fucking ridiculous. People are blind. I mean, if anybody. I mean, then so much going on around in my head, but also with this bullshit. Fuck off. People blindly following the media. I think this is. I think COVID is all overblown. But God, if you say anything like that, you're a fucking conspiracy theorist and fucking don't know what you're talking about. Like, I suggest if anyone has any doubts, have a do a bit of research. Have a look at the latest Pfizer. Um, vaccine report. Um, I think it ran section four, where it says basically don't have uh, unprotected sex uh, a month um, after taking the vaccine. Now, why is that? Is that because uh, it hasn't been tested? There's likely to, the likely or might be some side effects or issues that are uh, passed along to the unborn children. Now, I ain't taking that shit until all this stuff is figured out. In fact, if anyone knows a dodgy doctor, um, 
if you want to lend a hand or just or be paid I'll be happy to if I can get a cert to say I've done it um, but yeah I'm not happy about it it's all bollocks the further you, the further you look the, the, the deeper down the rabbit hole you go and it's a dark place you don't need it you know you can't trust our mainstream media but um, you, you know you can't trust half these crackpots either but you know, it's all having a toll on people's health I've got a friend of mine who's go who is on a slippery slope man talking about the planets aligning and fucking how Donald Trump's gonna save us all it's fucking crazy there's a lot of people gonna come out of all this um, with some serious issues or more serious issues I mean I, I can't imagine the number of new alcoholics um, from all this all the people that you know have been trying to uh, stop or slow down any drink or drugs problems so you think well what's, what's the fucking point how are you supposed to deal with that and all this never mind it is what it is It is what it is, come on. It is what it is, well done. Fucking bell end. I hate it when cunts just do that. Fuck around and then piss off with the lights at the last minute. It's me that pays for it. Fucking. If you can't tell, at the moment, been sat at home since March working and with family around um, but I'm a fucking dirty horrible ball of angst you know I think that this shit doesn't it hasn't helped me and I'm usually pretty happy-go-lucky but I think that my mood is like you can, it can be gauged, it's similar to an automata on the airplane where if I, if I get my nose up and keep my nose above the, the horizon then I'm good but all it takes is I suppose some social media or some news or somebody to say something and uh, the nose dips and then it's like fucking free fall so today getting out on the bike is me getting my nose up and I'll tell you what, even from that shitty petrol station to here it's just lovely to be moving it's cold but you know, wrapped up warm, I've got my fucking Klingon gloves roads are clear, dry not doing any fucking crazy shit so it's all good I've been looking at um, Alpine Stars uh, Air Vest or Air Vest in general for next year I think they're a great idea and they seem to be coming along and uh, I think that you know, the amount of evidence there is now that they've, they're proven to work I mean if you if you ride a bike and you ride a bike enthusiastically then it should be a no-brainer God, so what you're getting here is a massive condensed few months into one fucking rant Anyway, hard one, beautiful the, um, well, I've been out on uh, KTM a couple of times, but I just, I fucking just cannot be bothered going out for an hour and then spending ages cleaning the bastard. Um, the grommet's been out, got me backwards and forwards because I've had building work going on uh, and had no bathroom, so 
be going back and forth to various family and friends on the Grom uh, to wash my balls. And that's been amazing. But yeah, need to, to keep them all moving. Keep them all moving. Um, but also, what some silver lining is that you know shares in companies, investments, and stuff seems to be going up. Um, and fucking crypto, jeez Louise! I've got 0.8 of a Bitcoin and some Ether, Ethereum, and some uh, Tezos, and fucking all these different ones, and they are going enjoy it and they're going nuts so you know, but then I start dreaming that next year Bitcoin will fucking ten times where it is at the moment and I'll be able to pay off my mortgage. Alright you fucking dick muncher. Where am I gone? Yeah, if it goes to 200 grand for Bitcoin, I'm paying off my mortgage. But then I don't know about all the tax implications of that. Or find someone that will sell me a, uh, a 997 Porsche 911 for crypto. So if we get there, um, shoot me a message, if you've got a Porsche, or you know, oh, 20, or some ways that I can uh, maximise my tax efficiently, maximise my uh, investments if they ever come to fruition. This is a great road cycling. Get some speeds down here now. I'm going to go up this hill and look out across London like fucking like me mate Batman. Mate, don't touch the brakes, you don't need them, you don't need them. Good lad. Damn, damn, damn.
balls, they've shut it all off, man. Turn around, we'll go back there. And I don't understand, pardon me, why people um, wear those masks that look like uh, hospital disposable pants. Um, outdoors. It's not a bad view. 